Hi everybody, this is Marshall from Jerry's Artorama Nashville and we're going to start a new project. We're going to be working on a painting on canvas. We're going to start with acrylic and then go to oil. But the real part of this is that it's called Grisai. We're going to be doing in acrylic, we're going to be doing a grayscale painting to start with. And then once that dries, we're going to switch over to oil and glaze the color in on top of the gray painting so that the light and shadow shows through the glazes. This is a technique that was done in the early Renaissance and it's a technique that still has a lot of enjoyment for me. You can really bring out some vibrant colors this way. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working on a Soho canvas panel which works good with acrylic and with oil. Also, I'm going to be working with these brushes. They're called Staccato. You can get these at Jerry's and they are fantastic for working with acrylic heavy body paints. These are firmer bristles all the way through the whole line and they push the paint better without bending down to the point where you drag the ferrule on the canvas and for me that's ugh, that's like nails on a chalkboard I can't stand that so finding a brush that has a stronger bodied bristle is the way to work in acrylic before I start working with acrylic paint first I want to know where I'm going to put my paint what my subject matter is. So I'm gonna sketch it on the canvas. And this is the kind of thing to use for sketching on canvas. It is willow. It is willow and it's a, a soft, soft charcoal, which I like so much because you can do your lines really softly on the canvas. And if you wanna move them, they brush right off almost completely. So you can really work with it a lot and you can remove it very good on a canvas surface where pencil or other pastels or other things like that will stick permanently and it's very hard to move around. So let's start by me putting on a sketch. Let's go. I'm now using a light colored gray paint to hold the image because the charcoal comes off so easily. I can just go ahead and use my thin brush and mark out these lines with paint so that they don't move and I can finish the rest of the painting. I want this background to be basically dark. I'm gonna put it in the dark gray all the way across and see how that feels. I'm gonna work with a larger one of my brushes when I do that.
I think we've spent enough time with this composition. Let's get this underpainting done. that a finished Versailles painting and from here we're going to go into doing the glazes in oils. 